And I think we're live and too. So are we. Hey everybody, welcome to Sound Up, Sound Off. My name's Chris. This is Sean, who just got back from vacation. Uh, not true. You sound like you need to go back on vacation. You sound very sleepy. I didn't have a vacation. I had an experience. There's a big difference. You you went to Disney, which is where you usually need a vacation after the vacation. Exactly. Because That's why walk. it's called the Disney experience. How many miles do you walk every day? Vacation. We averaged 10. <laughs> yeah, so we did more than a marathon in three days. And then I drove on, drove eight and a half hours and eight and a half hours. We book, book ended our marathon with driving. What's, what's, uh, what's Disney World like um, in March and spring break? It's still there. <laughs> No, millions of people. In Where the there are there other people there? <laughs> millions of people in the middle of a big swamp. That's the uh, that's the question. So he was an amazing person. We should do a show about Walt because he's just, oh his I was brain. Like, who? <laughs> yeah, no Walt. I mean, like his his forward thinking is is massively impressive. Oh, he should have a flash for you. what he created. He should just uh, all his quotes. Speaking of. Actually, it has nothing to do there with it. There has no transition with that. Well, <laughs> sound but, off. We're going to argue about some stuff. Uh, we have some topics today. Not argue. We'll discuss. As we continue with our, our March Madness theme of giveaways and features. Is that first, and is that our first pro- topic? Yeah. Yes. We'll get them going happy with here. Um, so March Madness weekend. Are you winning? I am. So this was the first March Madness weekend in that I can remember. This is I when I actually not, start watching it. That I did not watch games. Like, I only watched, like, two games. Hold on. You mean this weekend I watched and you didn't? I think you watched probably more than I did because I was literally um, in Disney. and so Without a battery pack. Without a battery pack. So I was thinking I would be able to watch games and I didn't take a battery pack. Number one Disney tip. Have massive amounts of battery packs like Sean knows in his Disney experience. That he's like a book bag full of them. Um, so, like, that would be smart. But I didn't get to watch, like, hardly any games. I got to check scores. Um, and I didn't even do that routinely. It was really weird, but I will say this to answer the question. Yes, I am winning. I am winning my bracket. I have it right here. You can see proof. Look, Chris Ward winning uh, after opening weekend, round of 64, round of 32, heading into Sweet 16 this coming weekend. I am winning. How about you? Close second behind with four down. I've never filled out a bracket. Never? Never. Then you're not winning. No, I am so winning because I'm not losing. He's not winning. Uh, with that, did you know that there's one? I don't know if this. I think I, I don't know if I put this in the notes. There's one perfect bracket still left. After yeah, this you did actually, and it's the first time that they have on record that someone made it out of the first weekend with a perfect bracket. The f- before that, it was 39, and this guy has picked all. Um, what is it? For 42, 46 games. I forget how many it was. 40 some games. He's picked them all correct, <laughs> and he like was interviewed, and said that he wasn't. Like, it was a friend's bracket. Like, this wasn't his main bracket. Is he one of those that chose by colors? Have you heard of the people that win? He chooses. No, he. I mean, he watches bracketology like I do. Like, I watch bracketology, and I'm like, is that a show? Bracketology. Yeah, they do it when they release the. You don't know about bracketology? No. It's all. Oh my gosh! Now you're just lying. I think you're just making something. No, up. I really. I bracketology, thought bracketology. It's when they release all the teams that are in the tournament, and then the show that comes after that on ESPN is them analyzing all the matchups. It's called bracketology. I thought you just made that word up, honestly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I didn't share this. I'm sharing right now. So, uh, oh, you're sharing our live jumping stream. into the next topic here, I hope you didn't have anything important on MySpace. We had lots of stuff. In fact, you know that we had lots of important stuff on MySpace. I know I had songs that I guess I'll never get back now because MySpace recently deleted all of their files prior to 2015. Is that right? Yeah, but you know what? You had a lot of music on there, too. Yeah, and I was really mad because I've actually been trying to go on and get some of them because I don't have recordings anywhere. I haven't been able to log into my account because of an old email address I don't have access to anymore. Yeah, no one there's has, no way I remember my MySpace. Yeah, I got into my personal account, but I could not get into my uh, the music one that I had, and no one would help me because I don't think they have real staff. I, I don't think they exist as people anymore um yeah so i had a lot of stuff on myspace as well music especially uh, a lot of original things so sad but i'm probably not sad of that one picture from that one night that probably got on myspace being gone okay don't don't know what that <laughs> is uh, we're just gonna move on no, from that. that no i was saying that in commonality of like everybody probably has that on their page that they don't mind being deleted um i wasn't speaking my only question was was i in your top 10 Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe by the end of it, but yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think he made it by that point. That's a no. Honestly, <laughs> I, I am uh, kind of upset. So, you know, uh, I'm laughing at the next topic I didn't see ahead of time. Yeah, um, snuck two in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I really didn't know. Uh, that's not the right button. I really didn't know uh, that I couldn't just download songs from there. And I'm really upset because there was a song I wrote on piano that I never wrote the lyrics down to. And I, there's two ways I can get it. It's on an old hard drive, but it has like the connectors that I can't find anywhere. Or it was on my MySpace. It's called Amazon? Or yeah, I don't... Connectors? I They don't have them. It's a really old hard drive. Hmm. So anyway, on to the next. Or the internet. This has absolutely uh, become a sports episode. <laughs> it's not too sports themed. On to the next topic. So. Nope. So, uh, Sean, are you excited for this year? That is both the NFL's 100th uh, anniversary as well as the Bears' 100th anniversary as well. So to commemorate it, usually they let the Super Bowl champion, which I literally can't not – who won, the Rams or the Patriots? Patriots. Oh, Patriots won. Okay. So don't care. So, But they usually let them open the season, the like su- Super Bowl winners. Nope, not this year. Guess who's opening the 100th season because it's their 100th season? The Bears playing Green Bay, uh, one of the greatest and oldest rivalry, rivalries. Can't say that word. Um, words are hard. It is. It, it, words are hard. Um, in sports, all sports, not just football. And they're opening a kickoff on that Thursday night game for the opening of the season. So will you be rooting for the Bears? And if you say Green Bay, I will punch you in the throat. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, uh, another friend of mine's a, a Packers fan, and and uh, sad. I always root That's against the Packers because of that. And friend and Packers fan doesn't go together in my vocabulary. I actually know uh, Aaron's cousin, and he said Aaron's not a nice guy, so I kind of don't like him so because sure. of that too. Yeah, he, apparently yeah. doesn't talk to his family anymore. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, uh, anyway, we have to open up against the Packers and the. The Packers Bears opened this past season too, or played really early. You guys should definitely be the best one in that. We lost by one point. Uh, Anyway, who's the quarterback for Minnesota this year? For Minnesota? Yeah, I don't know. I don't pay attention. They're one of those teams that's like really, really good, except they never can find the right quarterback. Yeah, I mean they they always have a a solid performance, but um, yeah, I'm excited for this year hundredth hundredth season. I gotta go. I gotta find a way to go to a game. I entered a contest to go to every single Bears game, so I hope I won. I picked like their schedule, and I can get tickets for every single game. You're away gonna, games you're, too. You're not gonna win. Sorry. All right. So yesterday, Apple held an event. Uh, in one word, give us your opinion on that event. Oh wait, where's my word? <laughs> oh, you wrote it down. I know, I did. Oh my gosh. How about? I said, hey, write these words down last night. He goes, we don't write them down. I did too. I sent it. My word. I remember my word. Oh, I, you know what? You, this is uh, my my word is a combo word already forgotten. Because I already forgot, <laughs> and that's what the topic was. Already forgotten. I don't even. We, I it saw. I saw um, parts of the Apple announcement. Nothing really impressed me. You showed me the credit card thing. That was. I mean, credit card. Um, Yay, debt. Going to debt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. What a look, weird announcement. Look on this cool card. Well, you know what's funny though is when those Apple events, half the crowd are actually Apple employees. Cause who gets excited about an Apple card? I mean, and it looks cool if it's made of metal. If it's plastic takes away everything that it looks like it's made of metal. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of go cool. hands to my metal card, and you're like, yeah, I'm yeah. in all kinds of debt you don't Air- even know about. <laughs> AirPods, <laughs> Hundreds of thousands. Was AirPods 2 released or announced yesterday? So this is what Apple did. Apple basically had product diarrhea last week and just launched a new product every day so they could only focus on that for the event. They've never done that, but they were all over the news, so it smart was marketing all- play. Yeah, it was a smart it, marketing play. Wait, wait, but it was already out, so I didn't need the event because they already talked about because it. Because they only wanted the event to be about the TV stuff. Yeah. And they have some really big names doing shows. Apparently, like Oprah, What's your too, word? I guess. What's your word? Um, ironic. Because. They also announced something called News Plus. So Tim Cook goes up on stage and he goes, let's talk about magazines. He's like, I love the feeling of going up to a magazine stand and seeing all the magazines and looking through and flipping pages. Well, for nine ninety nine a month, we're introducing this whole thing where you could have them on your iPad. I'm like, so you just said you love that. Isn't it kind of ironic that you're going to kill it now? <laughs> Like, you literally just said you love it, and now it's going to die. So instead, yeah, so just describe. You get access to all those magazines without ads, Wall Street Journal, all that stuff, nine 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 a month. If you're a big news reader and magazine reader, it's actually a really good deal. It's a good deal, but what he used as a descriptive sell 
is that it's he loves newsstands. The total opposite of what he's selling. Exactly, which is kind of ironic. Which is that that's why my one, one word is ironic. And <laughs> uh, I honestly, I don't see Tim Cook walking on the streets of a city at a newsstand. Really don't. Maybe as a kid. Um, Apple stock is falling. <laughs> no. 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 New. New world changing, changing ideas. ideas. No. I don't the think arcade. The arcade was kind of cool. Well, they are the biggest gaming platform. I will give them that. I mean, like as far as like a platform, they're the biggest gaming platform in the world as far as usage and yeah. um, ability for gaming. So, well, one of the most annoying things about games online things. nowadays is they have this whole pay to play where you have to pay to get better things and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's funny. My daughter and I we play a couple of games that she has on her iPad and stuff. And if you want to sometimes get past a level, you have to like pay ninety nine cents for something. Yeah. Unless you just keep trying at it again and That's again. Genius. It is, but at the same time, their new arcade eliminates that. Yeah. So if you play games in there, you never have to worry about paying for it. But it's also nine ninety nine a month, so technically you still pay for it. You're still paying for it, and um, and and with gaming being the most searched in the app store, here's where I uh, and again sound up. This is our company. This is our we're all things audio. I feel like games on voice intelligent devices. That needs to be something to think about. How no, can no, no, you no. Play? Have you not seen the little things Amazon came out with? So Amazon has these little dials. You know when you go to like a game show mm -hmm. and they and you <coughs> somebody says a question, you have to hit the thing. Yeah, they make those. Yeah, for the Echo. So they have that already, where you can play Jeopardy basically. You know, all both of us have one, and whoever has the answer hits it first. Yeah, and it's this whole. It's really. But cool. I'm talking about. But I'm talking about the 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 mental fortitude and foresight to cre cre create sneeze. games, create games on it, like to always be creating. Um, new because that is a, a widely searched and usage that leisure time that entertainment thing so um, if you're building skills or if you you know want to talk about like how to build on top of voice platforms gaming is something that i think people need to have in their wheelhouse if they're trying to create we do business. have a really cool skillet that we by the way uh for those of you that don't know we're launching our our skill platform skills. uh with what custom, we're calling skillets which are uh, essentially We'll call them voice plugins, but we we'll call them skillets because we can. And the cool thing that our our uh, partner and developer Adam is working on is oh. going to really gamify some voice stuff. Working right now, not watching the show. Right, <laughs> except he's there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, one of the things that he's working on does kind of gamify uh, storytelling. I'll leave that right there. But it's really cool, actually, the concept of what he's doing. Um, and can really make some really neat adventures and, and maybe some fun learning things so all of you looking to get into the game space in the voice market sound up now dot yeah. com so well i guess i really kind of went into the next topic anyway that's why so, I, was, I was hoping we were kind of like shifting yeah. into this uh our feature of the week uh, for sound up sound off is that our feature of the week are we hold on wait are we talking about that i don't know are we are we are we are we mentioning our top secret headline feature i don't know yet we're probably gonna keep that a secret a little bit longer until we uh Do we finish we things up all right, we're, we'll keep that a secret, but we let me just reveal this, the custom skill one. So yeah, um, you know I can give them a, a peek at uh, some some forward facing things that we were working on. You know, okay. uh, widgets and, right. and whatnot. What kind of widget? What kind of what what widget are we working on this week? How many W's was that? Uh, well, something that I, I think you guys might like to see is uh, something that I don't know if I can drag and drop into eCam or not, but uh, a lot of people. You know, like the the widget and whatnot, and uh, let me know if you can see that up on the screen, in the comments there. Anyone? So this is uh, if if those of you that have used it before, we do have public facing pages. Uh, this is our new station page, um, not yet released, but we're very close to this, and it's going to be a way for you to share your your flash briefings uh, in other places. Um, you can also see the new player widget, which those of you might like, and uh, yes, that record does spin. This is just an image though. Uh, you don't have to have a record as an icon, but I think it looks cool, and they have a ton of them in Canva. I'll do a tutorial on that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be a really cool way for people to to share and get people to listen to the briefing that don't have Alexa devices on, on mm -hmm. Facebook and other, other means like that. So that will be uh, a really, really exciting thing. Um, so be besides custom, custom skills, um, stations page, new player widget, a fancy headline we're going to be talking about coming up soon. So we're basically like Apple as far as our like release of new features. Only ours are valuable. So, <laughs> ooh, shots fired. Uh, I'm gonna beat you with an anchor. <laughs> oh my! Why do we have an anchor? Uh, I don't know. There's too many ads on that. Get that way. Anyway, 
That's all I have. Uh, how about you? Yeah, we're good. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sound Up, Sound Off. We're here every Tuesday most of the time. <laughs> Till <then>. Except maybe <laughs> Wednesdays and sometimes Thursdays. But uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, by the way, if my little annoying logo on the top left, uh, I didn't realize I left that there until just now. That's been up there. I thought it was waiting to do something. Mm, it's doing something over oh. and over again. Okay. It's supposed to be the intro and the outro. Uh, so this is the outro. Perfect. Okay, bye. Adios. Still, oh, got to hit end. <laughs>